Exploring the depth of words. A deep dive into all sublists. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting lesson where we navigate the vast ocean of the English language. Today, we're focusing on an important aspect of academic vocabulary, the academic word list, or all, and more specifically, the all sublists. In this video, we'll explore and understand the frequency and range of words in these sublists. So buckle up, because this journey will enrich your academic and professional language skills immensely. The academic word list, all, is an incredibly valuable tool for those wishing to expand their academic vocabulary. It contains 570 word families that are commonly found in academic texts across various subjects. These words are not subject specific, meaning they are used across different academic fields, making them crucial for you to know. The all is divided into 10 sublists. The division is based on the frequency of the word's appearance in academic texts. Sublist 1 includes the most frequently used words, while sublist 10 contains words that are less frequent, but still quite important in academic contexts. The word's frequency refers to how often they occur in academic texts. Higher frequency words are generally more useful to learn early on. Range, on the other hand, refers to the number of fields or subjects in which the word is used. Words with a broad range are incredibly versatile and can be used in various academic discussions. The key to mastering these sublists is understanding that frequency and range are both crucial. Start with sublist 1. Mastering the high frequency, wide ranging words before moving onto the subsequent lists. This strategy ensures a strong foundational vocabulary upon which you can build more specialized language skills. Mastering the all sublists will dramatically improve your reading comprehension and academic writing. The words in these lists are not limited to academic texts but are also common in formal conversations and professional settings. By focusing on frequency and range, you're not only learning new words but also learning where and when to use them, which is equally important. And that's a wrap on today's lesson, learners. Remember, mastering the academic word list and understanding the frequency and range of words in the all sublists is a massive step towards enriching your academic and professional vocabulary. Don't rush through the process, take your time, understand the words, their usage, and their context. We hope this video was informative and will assist you on your journey to becoming a proficient English user. Keep practicing, and until our next lesson, happy learning!